Alright guys, so I've got a piece of stock in here. This is quarter inch thick by 2 by 1.5 and I'm going to just uh, be machining this uh, bearing cover. This will bolt to these four holes here and it will just uh, keep the bearings inside there uh, and keep everything nice and tight. I've done this before but normally I do it on the lathe and uh, turn it and then come back and use the machine, uh, the mill to flatten off the corners. But today I'm going to be doing it in some flat stock. So let's get started. This new plug coolant tube doesn't allow for very much uh, machining to be seen. But I'm drilling four holes. Well, what you couldn't see while I was machining is this. I can see right here that on my facing operation I didn't go far enough past and it left this it lifted up right there and it left this little mark there. But that'll be the bearing cover. This is the top side. I should add a a chamfer operation right there uh, just to kind of knock those edges off and then uh, flip it over and we'll do the underneath side all right I've got the part flipped over uh, I've set my zero 
in the center hole there and uh, let's see what we can see we're going to do a facing operation and then we're going to do some adapter Uh, you can see it lifts up before it gets to the end there. Alright, I'm going to manually remove the face mill. Then we're going to go to the tool changer and get tool 6. camera no. all right looks really good all right so we'll get it out we'll see how it fits all right well that finishes up this part this is the cap for the bearings. Uh, some fine tuning to the G-code. There's always something I tend to forget. Uh, I could have did a little small chamfer on the outside of this. Also on my facing operation there, it started to lift up before it got clear of the part. So it needs to go over about another half inch or so before it starts to lift up. I uh, did the same thing on the bottom, but you can't see that because all of this uh, was cleaned off. Uh, so see that fits in like so. And that will keep the bearings in there. Keep everything held together. Alright, so next I'll have to... Uh, I still need to drill a couple of holes here for the spacer, and I think we'll do that in our next video. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down here below. That way when I post a new video, they'll send you a link, and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. You can stop by the website to find out information on plans for the Precision Matthews, the G0602, or the X2 Mini Mill. I do have kits available, so stop by and check those out. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.